Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and if you're watching, you know what time it is. It's time for Duels 2013. I'm now about to unlock the last of the Ravnica DLC decks, the Golgari deck. It's black, it's green, it's skinny, it's mean, and I mean business. I'm going in with Azorius, the opposite color deck. So black's already paired with the opposite color green. The other opposite color of black is white. The other opposite color of green is blue. So I'm going with Azorius, which is all about enchantments, fun times. Everyone loves enchantments, as we learned from Duels 2012. Let's start this. Golgari. I really like these decks, by the way. I really feel that each of these decks is pretty cool so far. This hand sucks. This hand is pretty cool. Oh, they didn't go with the Future Sight. They went with the Future Sight art, but if you guys remember, this this card was originally for Future Sight, and it had that cool futuristic card look to it, so they did not go with that, but I can live with it. This is a really good hand, all right? I got pretty cool uh, Daybreak Cornet. Got an Hexproof guy that can't be blocked. I got Spirit Dancer that gets plus two, plus two for each aura attached to it, which is absolutely nasty. Enchanted creature with another aura attached to it, so I can't actually enchant anything to start. But I got some cool stuff. I got some cool stuff. I'm going to keep the hand. First thing I'm going to do is go get another plane so that I can cast Coronet when I have to. I don't have anything else to do on turn one, so I might as well do that. Um, one thing that I would like to say about this deck, uh, about the whole um, Ravnica DLC, is that I think this DLC is going to kill goblins. And I don't mean kill goblins like all these decks are better than goblins, but a lot of these decks are strong matchups against goblins. And I think a lot of people who hate goblins are going to be really happy because goblins are not going to be as prevalent anymore. All right, should I play the 1-1 one, one guy? A 0-2 guy. I can't enchant either of them to start. Champ Perfect is indestructible, which would be better to play. Like I said, it'd be better to make Core Spirit Dancer indestructible, but it'd be better to start getting damage on the board first. Depends what I draw. I don't know. See, here's the thing. If I draw an enchantment next turn that I can use, I'd rather play a Spirit Dancer so I can enchant her. If I don't draw an enchantment, Invisible Stalker is better. But which one's better? If I don't draw an enchantment, I get an extra one damage next turn. If I do draw an enchantment, I get shit tons of damage extra card next turn. So that's why I'm going to play this. Because best case scenario, I get something better. Worst case scenario, I guess he kills this. Okay, I guess that's worst case scenario. Best case scenario, what was going to happen with this is I get one damage. Best case scenario with this is I draw a card and get like at least two damage. I guess there's a higher best case scenario. But um, let's see. Come on. What is that? Four. Flying hexproof bird. Wow, they threw in the hexproof. That that takes some balls. That takes that takes some brass, as Bill Clinton would say. It takes some brass. Put this much hexproof in a deck. Wingspan swing. I call it the swingspan. I'm swinging in for zero. I don't even care. I don't even care. It's the computer. All I do care is that stainless and wizards. You got lazy and named this Golgari. I'm really disappointed. I feel like this should have a cool name to it. I mean, at least put the deck name up here. Troll Cedic, that thing's scary. Definitely scary. So the first thing I need to do... Whoa, I remember this card. 3 for 2 2 when it enters the battlefield, you can turn enchantment card from your hand. That is absolutely great. First thing I need to do is make my person indestructible. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm going to draw a card, and it's going to be it's going to be a 2-4 indestructible creature. This is great. This is great. Yes, I want to draw a card. Don't ask me stupid questions. Yeah, this thing's unblockable, so I'm just going to swing with it, and I got my blocker back here. And it's better to keep it as a blocker because, what, I could swing for two damage, but I could take three damage. I don't know what else he's got. Maybe he's got some nasty uh, card. I mean, I, I plan to... Let's see, what does this thing do? Griffin Guide. Chain creature is plus two, plus two, and has flying. And when the creature dies... Okay. That's nasty. So if I played on this, it's plus two, plus two for each enchantment on it. So it's really going to get plus four, plus four. It's going to become a six, eight creature. Oh, fuck! Wow, that's really good. He can kill all my enchantments. He can kill all my... Destroy each artifact creature enchantment converted from mana extra life. So if he gets another land next turn, he could kill... He can't. He can kill indestructibility, but he can't kill Core Spirit Dancer because it's indestructible. But that means there's absolutely no no point for me to play a uh, anything that costs four or less right now. 
gonna be a waste of time. So I keep the aura mancer. I can bring an aura back. You know what? I could cast something just for the purpose of drawing a card because I can bring an aura back with aura mancer. What does this do? That's great. That is absolutely great. That is astounding. When a creature dies, put a plus. So here's the other thing. I can put Griffin Guide on this thing because it's gonna die when he breaks pernicious deed. So I get a token. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. Yes. I would like to draw a card. That card's good. I'll show you what it is in a second. Now I'm gonna swing because I know my creature's gonna die anyway. I don't think he's he can't block this thing, and if he blocks this thing, well, poo poo to him. He loses creature. Which he's gonna lose anyway. I'm surprised he didn't block. I guess he wants to deal damage to me. Three dreams, five mana. Search your library for up to three aura cards and put them in your hand. That is, that is absolutely amazing. That is, this is the stuff that like, fucking Johnny decks are made for. This card is great. Three dreams is great. Only costs one white mana. He's gonna swing. Then he's gonna pop everything for four. Then I'm gonna get a two-two token. My spirit guy is gonna live. And he's gonna be crying all the way. Nope, didn't pop it. Abyssal. Sp okay, I can deal with that. When the gatekeeper dies, I have to sack a creature. I can deal with that. Oh wow. What is he gonna do? I can mind control his guy. Then he's gonna be forced to pernicious deed. I feel like playing mind control is a waste of time because he's just gonna pernicious deed. I could play this, lifelink, first strike, vigilance, swing in for plus three, plus three, I could swing in for six and lifelink, and draw a card. I just want to force him to cast, to use pernicious deed and lose all of his own stuff. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Put him in a really bad position. Then when you play something nasty later, I'll mind control it, even though I don't have a creature. All right, I'm gonna force him to do it. I'll take the daybreak cornet back. Swing in for six. I could swing with this, but it's going to force me to sack my creature because he's going to block. This thing's unblockable. Take the six damage. I gain six life. Thank you very much, Golgari. Thank you very much. Yep, go get your land. I don't care. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why did that happen? What? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Oh! He pernicious deed. Deeded. Okay. Now I got to sack a creature. Fuck! Fuck, that sucks. That really sucks. All right. I could get Indestructibility back or Daybreak Cornet back. Hmm, or Griffin Guy back. Well, let's see, what do I got left? I got Griffin Guy, I got Oromancer, got the Fleet Wing, so I don't need something against anything flying. Daybreak Coronet. It's only going to be good if I already enchant something. I just feel like Griffin Guide is better. Indestructibility is not going to help. Wait, what does Griffin Guide do? Plus two, plus two. Yeah, I'm going to take Griffin Guide. want to creep the creatures. Board busy. Griffin Guide. Oh, Indestructibility is good too. Oh, I'm torn. I'm so torn. Griffin Guide is going to be way more annoying for a short term though. Indestructibility. Oh god, I'm so torn. I'm gonna take the destructibility. Gonna take it. I feel like in the long run it's gonna be better. I got Evolving Wild, so I can go get a blue. Go get an island. Go search it out. Go look for the island. Bahamas, Bermudas, Mortivore. Nasty. Mortivore would be pretty nasty, except for the fact that I can mind control it as soon as I get an um, island, which I'm gonna go get. But it's gonna be tapped. So I'm gonna have to wait till next turn. Let's see here. I could three dreams and go find some other cool stuff. Might as well. I do not plan to block the Mortivore any turn. Swing in for two. I have a life lead. What does this thing do? Six for three, three when it comes to the battlefield. Search your life for an aura card that could enchant it and put it on it. Wow, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm at three dreams. I'm not too afraid of a four, four creature right now that I'm going to gain control of next turn. So i got to find any three auras I want with different names. What do I got? Oh! Oh, Imperial Armor is in this deck. That's evil. Oh, Followed Footsteps is in this deck. That's way more evil. This card sucks. Card kind of sucks. Wow. Wow. Definitely Followed Footsteps. Oof. What else here? What else we got? Imperial Armor also seems cool. Really nasty. 
and mind control. I got some pretty scary stuff already. I'm not really afraid of anything he casts other than giant scary creatures. So let's go mind control. Wow. Wow, this card is good. This deck is really cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, he's gonna swing for four. Little does he know it's the last time he's gonna. Okay, he's got a fog thing. Great. So, what he doesn't realize is I'm gonna put follow footsteps on his Mortivore. And my Mortivore is gonna be more than his Mortivore. I'm gonna take the four. Four from Mortivore. I could mind control the Mortar War first, so he can't swing with it again. Oh, what is this thing? <sighs> what? How is this even a thing? How is this a thing? Wow, what? This whole deck, I love this whole deck. I love it to pieces. I love it. How much does this cost? All my mana, pretty much, yep. Could steal Mortar War, force him to kill it. Could follow footsteps it. Is there any other creature I'd like to follow footsteps? Or a touch mage would follow footsteps would be pretty nasty. And I don't remember what was still in the deck that I could go get. Was there anything like really nasty in the deck? It was like I could make it big. I could make it pretty big. I don't know. I want to put a follow footstep on this guy. I feel like that's going to put him in a really bad position. I can always chump block if I really need to for the damage. So yeah, I'm going to swing in for two, then follow footsteps as Mortivore, and play it by there. And Mortivore is only going to get more hilarious the longer the game goes on. So wait, did he really just do this to, to not to not take damage for two damage? Okay. And if I follow footsteps as guy and I chump block it, guess what happens? My Mortivore tokens get even bigger. They get even bigger. Wow, I can't believe he sacrificed this fog thing. So he could prevent two damage. What is this? Oh god damn it! Maelstrom pulse, very powerful. That sucks. Take five damage. I can take five, then I can mind control this guy. I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it. Swing in, unless he's got another maelstrom pulse, which is gonna leave me in a really nasty position. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he does not have another Maelstrom Pulse. I'm not going to enjoy that. I might live one turn. Alright. He's going to die. That becomes 6-6. Six, six. Oh god. If he has Maelstrom Pulse, I lose the game. I don't have a choice. I gotta do it. I guess I could have left my 2-2 two -two back to chump block. Please don't have Maelstrom Pulse. At least if he Maelstroms, I believe it'll have Summoning Sickness. Going back to him, so he wouldn't immediately get it. And what is this thing? Our speed running this damage. You should put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Wow, very powerful. Five for six, six. It's really a shame. I'm also gonna mind control it. <laughs> it's a shame. It's a shame that I have so much. I'm just so cool. I get the mind control. Swing in for six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hopefully, he doesn't have maelstrom pulse. Maelstrom Pulse doesn't just destroy target permanent, it destroys target permanent, and all permanents the same name as that permanent. So if he destroys my mind control, he destroys both of them at once. Very good card. But he's now in a really bad position. He's got to win next turn. He's got turns around. He's got three cards in hand. He's got a bunch of land. He probably has some spell that just deals like six damage to my face, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Let's see. What's he got? What is this thing? Three. Whenever non token creature you control. Yep, it's not going to help you, buddy. I don't care how many sapperling tokens you get. Now he's going to play some creature. Dark color would sacrifice a forest, gain three life. You can't gain this much life. I guess he could gain six life. I guess we could gain six life. Unfortunately, six life isn't going to help you when I cast Imperial Armor on this thing. Because now you're going to take a boatload of damage to your face. So, guys, that's it. I've unlocked all the Ravnica. DLCs, I'm ready for the Wizards of the Coast tournament with me and Destricted are going to play on a team. Team, uh, I forgot the name. Team Selesn is it, I believe was it. Um, and that's it. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed these matches. I hope you enjoyed watching me unlock these decks. I hope you got to learn a little bit about what each of these decks is about. And I'll see you next time. I hope you visit TopTreeTactics.com, see my coverage, see my deck guides, see what's going on in the tournament. Just give me some traffic. I don't know, it makes me feel better. I check the traffic in the morning and see if I got decent amount of views and makes me feel good anyway i'm wingspan tt i'll see you next time cheers